Welcome to Sweet Talk SLP. I'm Crystal and I'm a pediatric speech language pathologist. Today's video will be a review on a resource that I purchased from Teachers Paid Teachers. But before we get started, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Also ring that notification bell so you're notified of my weekly uploads. Let's get started. So I bet you're wondering which resource I chose for today's review. I decided to review the Adventures in Speech Pathology Articulation Cards and Sheets. This product retails for $15. In it, you get a set of flashcards that you can print out and cut out, and also some worksheets. I have it up here on my computer so that I can tell you everything that's included. So it says that it includes um, more than 184 pages. As I mentioned, it includes both articulation cards and articulation sheets. There are 92 pages of each with 828 individual cards or pictures. The two sets that come with this are exactly the same, except that one set has just the picture with the label, and then on the top corner, it also tells you what phoneme it is for and if it's initial, medial, and final. And then the other set is for is a worksheet style that has 10 little bars so that you can mark for trials. Like I mentioned, they're exactly the same. It just depends on what your need is on what you would print out. These do not come in color. They only come in black, which I think is beneficial because you don't waste colored ink. And for me, this is easy for homework or printing on the go and just making you know some simple material so that you can use. Each set includes 21 speech sounds, and for each speech sound, there is one sheet of nine pictures, and there is um, a set for initial, medial, and final position. How do I use this product? So in many ways, I generally print out either the regular flashcards on cardstock, as I had shown you, and I usually print it out in doubles so that I have two of every card in case I want to play a memory game or a fishing game, and that way I have more trials for those speech sounds. I also print out the worksheets and mark them or leave them for homework. And I also leave the cards for homework. I usually review them a few times and model some different techniques of how I use them before I leave them at home for the parents to practice with their child. So I love using both sets for different kids and sometimes both at the same time. I love using clickers to get really high trials for some of my kids. So I might just click it through as we're going through some of the words. I also like to mark the worksheets with different colors. So that way I know how many times they were able to make um, a correct production. I also use tokens to mark the words that we've practiced. So I'll grab our worksheet and then I'll let the child choose which tokens they'd like to use. I have some smiley face tokens that I will put on each picture. I have some little magnetic tokens. I also use these little mini clothespins that I will attach to some of those small flashcards. That way we know that we practiced it three times or maybe put one each time we say it or every two or three times we say it and then tap the clothespins to practice even more trials. Of course the typical memory game lay them out and play memory that's a very easy game for these and parents tend to love the ease of playing memory. If you follow Rebecca the creator of Adventures in Speech Pathology she always has tips and tricks on her Instagram page and not too long ago she mentioned putting paper clips on the flashcards and then using some magnetic fishing poles to pick them up. I hide cards under things, I hide them in things, I hide them around the room. So there are so many different ways of using all of these products. I'd love to know how you use these products. Do you find yourself using the cards more or the worksheets more? I feel like I use them pretty equally. Um, sometimes I just give the child a choice. Do you wanna look at the pictures on the worksheet or do you wanna look at the colorful flashcards? And so depending on what they choose, we go on from there and I create an activity based on their choice. As always, I'm going to rate these products using five different criteria, storage, price, patient response, functionality, and overall. 
Storage, five out of five, especially these little flashcards. These are very small and easy to store. I keep them in folders. I have individual folders for my speech kids. So I keep whatever set that I'm working on for that child in their individual folder. I also have this little toolbox behind me where I'm able to store them and they fit perfectly in there. Also the storage of these worksheets. I also leave them in folders, hand them out to parents keep them in my filing cabinet so they're very easy to store. I also have a digital copy on my iPad so for any reason I'm out of ink or I don't want to waste paper, I also have that. So storage of th this product, five out of five. Price, I give this product a five out of five. I feel that $15 is a reasonable price for all of the picture cards that you do receive with this set. Now, if you're able to get this on sale, even better. I purchased it before it went up to $15. Um, she had made an update. I believe only the cards were available and then she added, I think, the worksheets or vice versa. And so I made the purchase before it went up to the $15. So, um, but I would pay the $15 currently. When this video goes live, there is a sale on Teacher Pay Teacher. So if you happen to come across my video the day that it goes live, and you go off to look at these products, they might be on sale. I don't know that all products will be on sale, so I can't guarantee it, but if these happen to be on sale, I say you grab them when you can. They're very easy to use, and especially if you work with kids that have speech sound disorders, it makes it very easy to use in therapy. Patient response. I'm going to say four out of five because most of my kids really enjoy these products, but I just have some speech kiddos that it doesn't matter what it is, they don't wanna look at any paper products. They just wanna play. So, it, and that's just, it's not the product's fault, that's just for ki kids are kids. And so a lot of times they're gonna have their, you know, disgruntled feelings toward any type of paper products. As fun as you may make it, you know, there's always gonna be a little bit of pushback. So four out of five for that. Functionality, how the product works to target your goals. I'm going to give it a four out of five and I would give it a five out of five because it does what it's supposed to, right? You wanna target speech sounds and speech sound disorders. You use these cards, easy. Um, I only knock off a point because I feel like almost all of the words, or like 99% of the words are single syllable words, which is okay, right? That's where you have to start. But I wish that this product had an upgrade or a part two that had multisyllabic words. And this one does not. So for now, I'm knocking it down that one little point because I wish that it had more options for the words that are here. The words that are here are great. The pictures are great and they work to target the goals that you need. And of course you can put these words in phrases or sentences or use them in conversation. So you could definitely upgrade them. I just wish that there were more options for multisyllabic words. And overall, overall I'm gonna give this product still a five out of five. I love these cards. I, for a long time, I used the Weber articulation book that I'm sure everybody had, um, or older SLPs, I'm dating myself, right? Because if you're a newer SLP, you probably, unless you were in a clinic that had the book and you came across it, it's not something that people really purchase anymore. I don't even know if it's for sale anymore. So, and these pictures are great compared to that book. So I, and I love speech sound disorders. So the nerdy speech sound disorder girl in me and the nerdy girl who loves um, school supplies, loves resources like this because I get to print out and cut and I don't really laminate these, but I could if I wanted to. And I just, I love the product. <laughs> So like I mentioned, this product might be on sale when this video goes live, so if you don't already have them, I highly recommend them. I'd love to know if you already own this, what your thoughts on the product is. That's all I have for now. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, I hope that you'll consider subscribing and ringing that notification bell so you're notified of my weekly uploads. I also hope that you'll like and share my video with some of your friends and colleagues. Again, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.